We're so happy that you're able to join us again for another broadcast of the Peace on Earth Ministries show. My name is Sherry Tomlinson. I'm one of the founders of Peace on Earth Ministries. We are a 501c3 nonprofit organization approved by the U.S. government and by the Nigerian government. Our mission is to serve economically disadvantaged people here in Dallas, Texas, and also globally. And so our goal for 2016 is to keep the dialogue going um, between the community and between our officials um, so that we can be more engaged and hopefully mainstream peace in our city. We would like to also renovate schools and we would also like to provide literacy materials uh, for our children here in the Dallas community and also in Nigeria for 2016. And so um, today we have Minister Tomlinson here in our studios with us and he's here to share the message of reconciliation and give us spiritual direction on that as well. Minister Tomlinson, welcome. Yes, yes. Um, I'll just go directly to the Word of God. 2 Corinthians 5, 20. So, we are Christ's ambassadors. God is making his appeal through us. We speak for Christ when we plead. Come back to God. If we were to follow this directive, we would be closer to having peace on earth. For everlasting peace, we know the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ, would have to return for us to have that. Thank you for that message. And so, you've been a pastor before, is that correct? Yes. Okay. Yes, that is correct. So, you've been in a leadership position some years ago. Yes. Is that right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And so, you're a young black man, maybe not so young anymore, but you're still living, young. Still young. You're yes. young at heart. Yes. You're young as you feel. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're living in America right now. What are your thoughts about uh, the recent videos and showing police violence and police shooting uh, that's being shown by the media? And um, people out there are thinking, like myself, that these were only isolated incidents and come to find out these are um, being ex exposed as widespread, uh, like a widespread disgrace in our nation right now. What are your thoughts about it? Well, in all actuality, what we're seeing and hearing and observing is individuals who are living without God and living without godly principles. If we were to include God again in our schools, in our government, and also in our personal lives, that would make a world of difference. So what's your message today for our audience? Our viewers should study the word of God and show themselves approved, rightfully dividing the word of truth, observing the actions of Jesus Christ and duplicating them in our own lives so that we may be examples to others. We need to uh, show more love in this world and to love one another as the word of God instructs us to do in John 13:35. Let me just r run to that quickly. John 13:35 read, "Your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples." So it is up to us as servant leaders to set an example for the rest of the world. Okay, and to me it's kind of funny that you said that uh, we should study the word of God. I have two college degrees and I've been going to church for the past 20 years. And it's only been since this year where I finally understand what I'm reading in the Bible. Part of the problem's been the fact that, you know, I've been reading the King James Version of the Bible, so I try mm -hmm. to stick to Proverbs, I try to stick to Psalms, uh, because, you know, those, uh, those passages really uplift me, and that's really all I can understand. Uh, in a way that I can apply it to my own life. That's the understanding that I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, being able to read something and use it in my own personal life. And it didn't happen for me until this year. And also we started going to Oak Cliff Bible Church and the lessons from that pastor, Tony Evans, has been able to reach me and he's able to uh, reach people at their level of understanding as well. So that combination 
just brought out um, so much more of the Bible so that I could uh, live, live it accordingly in my life. And so we're asking our viewers to do the same and start with, start now and start with your children because if our parents, if our mothers were living according to what the Bible was uh, teaching uh, everyone, we wouldn't have spent half of our lives, um, you know, going out with immoral women, um, doing evil with the evildoers, um, and now we're back to uh, applying God's word to our lives. God's words to our lives. So instead of, you know, having your children go through all of those um, phases and then end up coming back to God anyway, um, it's good to have them understand now in a way that they can, they can live their lives. I also recommend that uh, you get yourself an NIV Bible, New World Intel uh, Translation, mm -hmm. so that it's, it's easier to understand, it's easier to read, and it's easier for you to use and right. apply yourself. And how often do you suggest that we use it? Every single day, the minimum of three times a day. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> now in the black community, we're being asked to boycott uh, certain businesses now and not to spend money at certain establishments. Uh, how will doing this help the black community, Minister Tomlinson? In my opinion, um, it's just a matter of being united. Uh, we need to stick together in faith in belief and in finance to keep our community strong. Okay. So you're suggesting that we support um, black businesses and invest in the black community? Yes, indeed. More? Economically, um, we receive our funds and they don't stay with us long enough. In, in other communities, they have a great turnaround on their monies within their own yeah types within their own culture before it goes outside of their culture. So we as blacks need to exercise the same mm -hmm. uh, economical power. I was reading uh, in the Chinese community, their monies are in their community for at least 30 days, a minimum of 30 days before it leaves that community. So yeah, we, we are going to have to not only boycott, we need to take actions, sure, but we also have to support each other. Be more yes. supportive and invest in our own community as well. So we have to be uh, ready to do that. Yes, going indeed. Going forward. <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay. And so, um, where can we find the truth? Because a lot of people right now, they're looking for the truth. Where can we find the truth, Minister Tomlinson? We can find the truth in the Word of God, the Bible. Um, you will gain wisdom, knowledge, and understanding by reading the Bible. You will be receiving guidance, comfort, healing, hope, peace, love. It's all there waiting for you in the Bible. Just pick it up and start partaking of it. Um, let's do all our best to get back to God. That is our ministry to the world, is to encourage everyone to be reconciled back to God. Let there be reconciliation back to our Heavenly Father. And let us mainstream peace here on earth. So what I hear you saying is that um, there's racial injustice, there's economic injustice that people of color have to overcome. I and mean, we can't do it in another hundred years. We have to do it in the next year. No later than two. <laughs> Okay, so... Actually, I recommend we start doing it immediately. Immediately, okay. Now. So, what's God's justice? Well, let's go to Psalms 9, and I will read from Psalms 9, so you can receive that information. Okay. And the Word of God states in Psalms 9, I will praise you, O Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all the marvelous things you have done. I will be filled with the joy because of you. I will sing praises to your name, O Most High. My enemies retreat. They stagger and died when they appear. 
for you have judged in my favor. From your throne you have judged with fairness. You have rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. You have erased their names forever. The enemy is finished in endless ruins. The cities you uprooted are now forgotten. But the Lord reigns forever, executing judgment from his throne. He will judge the world with justice and rule the nations with fairness. The Lord is a shelter for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. Those who know your name trust in you. For you, O Lord, do not abandon those who search for you. Sing praises to the Lord who reigns in Jerusalem. Tell the world about his unforgettable deeds. For he who avenges murder cares for the helpless. He does not ignore the cries of those who suffer. Amen. Lord, have mercy on me. Yes. See how my enemies torment me. Snatch me back from the jaws of death. Mm -hmm. Save me so I can praise you publicly at Jerusalem's gates. So I can rejoice that you have rescued me. The nations have fallen into the pit they dug for others. Their own feet have been caught in the trap they set. The Lord is known for his justice. The wicked are trapped by their own deeds. The wicked will go down to the grave. This is the fate of all the nations who ignore God. But the needy will not be ignored forever. The hopes of the poor will not always be crushed. Arise, O Lord. Do not let mere mortals def defy you. Judge the nations. Make them tremble in fear, O Lord. Let the nations know they are merely human. Amen. 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 Yes, so we need to bring God back into everything that we do, um, into yes. our workplace, into our government, into our schools. We need more of God, and we'll probably see less of the violence and the turmoil that we're witnessing in these times. So it's a process, but... Um, and I'd like to add, especially in our personal lives, because it all starts with us. Each individual can make a difference by living their lives according to the word of God's direction. Amen. And when we return, we'll have a face-to-face -face discussion with the treasurer of Peace on Earth Foundation in Nigeria, Mr. Coyote Oyegoki. He's visiting us here in the U.S. this week. Join us when we're back from the break. Yes, indeed. Hi there, I'm Carlton with Jubilee Painting and Design LLC. As you can see, we do residential and commercial painting, exterior and interior, interior design, handyman repairs, gutter care, towel work, pressure washing, landscaping. We will extend your home, build you a bathroom. We will do your concrete work. We take care of all your fencing needs. Give Jubilee an opportunity to bring color into your castle. Just give us a call at 469-525-5400. Thank you. And we're back with more of the Peace on Earth Ministry Show. Joining us here in our studio is the treasurer of the Peace on Earth Foundation in Nigeria who's visiting with us this week. Welcome, Minister Coyote Oyegoki. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure being with you in the U.S. And I give God glory for this rare privilege. Welcome. We bring you greetings from Nigeria in West Africa. Praise Thank you. God, yes. And so you've been watching the recent events that's been happening here in the U.S. from Nigeria. From a Christian perspective, um, what, can, what words of advice can you give us? Thank you very much. I grew up to know America. You grew up to know America. Yes. As mm -hmm. God's own country. And I read and I know that the motto of America is in God right. we trust. Mm -hmm. But it's pertinent um, to know that U.S. is gradually eroding from mm -hmm. the path of placing God, his words, and his commandment first in all our affairs. And I also know that the absence of God in any situation is crisis. 
So when there is an absence of God from the way we train up our children, yes. then we begin to experience the kind of things we are experiencing. Because we discover that there are teenagers, younger generation, who are developing things and attitudes that are not in line with the word of God. And I think America needs to revert to that part of ancient days of our fathers who followed God's words and his commandments. Amen. Yeah, we, I've noticed recently, not only the teenagers, they're having attitudes and, you know, having certain behaviors that's, you know, not godly. <laughs> I, it's now going even into people that are in their thirties. They're, you know, just not um, living or understanding um, the ways of God. God, and that's incredible to me to see at my age. You know, things that are, we used to do as teenagers, people are still doing it in their thirties <laughs> and behaving that way in their thirties. Um, so tell us about the progress that's being made over there in Nigeria with the Peace on Earth Foundation. All right. What are some of the goals and accomplishments so far? Yeah, as we said earlier, Peace on Earth Mission is a non-governmental organization NGO, and a non-profit, call, call it NGO, okay. and a non-profit making organization, striving very hard to meet the needs, the challenges of less privileged people, those who are poor, those who are displaced, and who are in poor communities in Nigeria and other places. But in reference to Nigeria now, we have started with Ayete. It's called Ayete in Yoruba, and it's a local government headquarters in Oyo State. Most of the schools around IIT are old, the structures are dilapidated, they don't have facilities like library, computers, and even some of their toilets are bad. And so we need to assist them in making education good. In some of our visits to the place, they are, we discover that the majority of the areas, they are farmers and they need assistance. Okay. They earn less than $2 a day. So, also, we have met with some organization with my team in Nigeria, mm -hmm. Roxin, Larry, Temisin, with the help of our directors here, Sherry, Thompson, and Debbie, we have been able to secure computers from reputable organizations nice that will give and place in Igbora. It's a bigger community and it, they, presently they have a room for computers which are secured, but they don't have computers. So when we place the computers there, the whole community will benefit from it. Mm -hmm. The teachers will be abreast with the latest technology in computer and will be able to teach the children. So the place will be a center, a hub for training for them. Also, we look ahead, going to the northern part of Nigeria in Ilori to replicate similar things. Oh, that sounds like a big mission. Uh, <laughs> yes. Oh, well, I, you know, pray the Lord will continue to be with you all over there and keep you safe and, you know, be able to accomplish your goals uh, between now and the end of 2016. Uh, Thank you. Yes. And so, Let's take a look at the latest video that we have from Nigeria.
Di dalam ngompok. Ah, maaf, 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 maaf. Okay, what kind of assistance are you asking from um, the people here in America for Peace on Earth Foundation in Nigeria? Oh, thank you very much. We require donations, we require cash, and also prayers. Amen. David Webster says that what a man does to others not what they do for him gives him immortality. So it is what we do for others that remains forever. Thank you very much. And so do you have a scripture for us before we take a break? Oh, yes, I do. First Corinthians chapter 5. Uh, 15 by 58 says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be it steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of God. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Thank you. Amen. Minister Oyagoki, you're a talented musician. I would love for you to bless us and to bless our audience with a rendition of Psalms 121. Is, is that something you can uh, play for us today? Okay, I will just give you the closing of it. Yes, praise God. My help comes from the Lord. Yes, praise God. Peace on Earth Ministries is a non-profit 501c3 organization that is approved by the U.S. government 
and by the Nigerian government as an NGO, a non-governmental organization, so your contributions are tax deductible and you will be given a receipt for any donations you send to us to help our fellow brothers and sisters both here in the U.S. and abroad. Call 888-58-DONATE for more information or visit our website at www.peaceonearthministries.org. To advertise on Peace on Earth Ministries, show please call 469-525-5400 after 6 p.m. weekdays or Saturdays between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Or email us at poem, P-O-E-M dot charity at gmail dot com. Thank you. And in this final segment of the Peace on Earth Ministry show, we have Minister Tomlinson back with us. Yes. And Minister Tomlinson, do you know there's 167 million people living in Nigeria? Wow. Yes. And 90% of them are earning $2 a day. Um, they do speak English there. They um, have 521 different languages, but they do speak English. Um, mm -hmm. What are your thoughts about that situation over there? Well, um, it sounds like they're being robbed, <laughs> right? Based upon the fact that they're only making that kind of money. And I know that Africa is the richest continent on the face of the earth in raw resources. Most definitely they're being robbed. Right. And Nigeria, they're the fifth largest producers of oil. Mm. So a whole lot of their resources have been taken out of Africa and are still being taken out through unfair practices while corrupt governments do nothing to help their own people. But we are thankful that our viewers care and would like to see the suffering end in our motherland. Yes. Please call 888-58-DONATE today. Yes. And in our upcoming episodes, we're going to share some press releases from the Dallas Police Force and we're hoping to have an interview from one of those officers. And we also will have an exclusive interview with uh, independent candidate Tony Teal. He's running for uh, Dallas County Commissioner. So hopefully we'll have that interview uh, ready for you next time. We're and gonna close with a prayer. Let us bow. Our Father, almighty God who art in heaven, holy is your name, your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it's already been done in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins and our trespasses as we forgive those who have sinned and trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. In Jesus name we say, Amen. Amen. I was lost but now I'm found Heading down the wrong road Could not find my way There were roadblocks all the time I could not move the obstacle But Jesus came along and saved the day